Hey everybody, this is Melakai Juju and today I'm going to talk about another video about some new Godzilla 2014 information. This time it's about the Godzilla 2014 song. So yeah, but we got some new information on February 13th, which is today. Wait, it's February, yeah, today's February 13th. So yeah, it's very interesting. And it's about Godzilla 2014, the song. So I guess you can say it's breaking news or just interesting news. So if you all know who are G fans or just overall, yeah, who are updated on, you know, this film or just overall G fans, most likely you know that Alexander Desplats, which is not known for many of his movies, is actually composing Godzilla 2014. So he's making a song for Godzilla 2014. And he actually says, he describes how possibly, more like how really the song is going to sound in the upcoming Godzilla film. So yeah, this article is from Zenny62. I'll put this article as a link in the description below. This was posted on February 13, which is today. So yeah, let's read it. This is a little part of it. So yeah. But here's a little part of it. Alexander Desplats, the composer for the legendary pictures production of Godzilla, commonly called Godzilla 2014, told the Daily Beast senior writer Andrew Romano that the music for the much anticipated summer blockbuster will be non stop fortissimo. Fortissimo? Fortissimo? I'm not exactly sure how you exactly pronounce that. But, you know, I'm not too much into music, so I'm not exactly sure what fortissimo means or how to even pronounce it. But right here in this article, it tells us what this fortissimo means. I'm going to um, call it fortissimo, so if I said it um, wrong, they just tell me in the comments below if I just said it wrong. Um, but, yeah, so now here's the rest of the article. Now, the definition of fortissimo, I guess that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, is a musical term indicating that a piece is played very loud. Thus, we have to believe that non-stop fortissimo means loud music throughout the movie. Just a thing for a roller coaster ride. The entire quote has a splot saying the following, according to Andrew Romano. The monster movies. I've never been really into that, but when I saw Gareth Edwards' first film, Monsters, I was hooked. It was very character-driven. So yes, Godzilla is another story than Philomena, because it's non-stop, fortissimo, with lots of brass, Japanese drums, and electric violin. But I still try to find the soul of the film. So yeah, that's all. The rest is just talking about the history of Alexander Desplat, who he is, the movies he has conducted, and, uh, you know, done songs about, I guess. So I'm not exactly sure if he was a composer like since the beginning or if he was hired as a composer. But most likely he was already, you know, a composer since a long time ago. But yeah, so it's actually pretty interesting. So as it says right here, for it's gonna be uh what is it? It says it's gonna be non stop fortissimo, which means, as I said right here, that's gonna be loud music that's gonna be played throughout the whole film. So yeah, like, uh, 1954, well, right here he says, uh, I'm not sure if this part, like, I'm gonna say this part again, but I'm not sure if this part is, he's mentioning that that's how it sounds, the original Gojira film, or if that's exactly how it's gonna sound the Godzilla 2014 film, so I'm gonna repeat this part, because it's non-stop fortissimo with lots of brass, Japanese drums, and electric violin, but... I still try to find the soul of the film. So I don't know if that actually means that Gojira, that's how you thought Gojira, the song, played like, or that's how it sounded like, or if indeed the Godzilla 2014 um, song is going to sound like that with electric violins, Japanese drums, and lots of brass. But I don't think I heard a, I heard a electric violin in the mixture for any Godzilla song because I know they use this um I kind of forgot how the history of the song was 
It looked like they used this Glover hand or something, and then they rubbed it with a violin or something. But I never heard in the mixture of all that a electro violin. So that could possibly be uh like you know how that the twenty fourteen will sound. Now electro violin, what songs have electro violin? Well since I don't you know, I know about other kaiju such as Ultraman and Gamera and all this stuff. Then there's a series called Ultraman Nexus. That's a good example for an electric violin played kaiju film or kaiju series since it's not exactly a film. But overall, I can't wait until, you know, they reveal how the song is and overall the trailer. And hopefully the trailer is going to show the song. And, you know, this is actually leading closer and closer to the release date of Godzilla 2014, so it's getting closer. Because, you know, they already revealed, you know, more like Alexander's plots revealed how it might sound, or more like how it will sound. So, you know, maybe it's, you know, a step closer till the Godzilla 2014 film comes out. And hopefully we get the soundtrack that Alexander Desplats composed for Godzilla 2014, hopefully. And we don't get another song from another movie, like, for example, a teaser trailer. It's a teaser trailer, not a trailer. But anyways, the teaser trailer, that was from the music soundtrack. It's from the 2001 the Space Odyssey. And hopefully in this new trailer, it's not going to have another song from another movie. Hopefully it's going to have the, the its original song from uh, composed by Alexander Desplat. So, but anyways, and for this video, make sure I like and comment. I'll put this article at the link in the description below. So, what do you think of this music? Just by hearing, you know, me talking, or have you already seen this already? What do you think about um, the song? And also, if you were imagining yourself in the theaters and hearing the song, what do you think about it? But anyways, then for this video, as I said, subscribe, like, and comment. This is Mr. Kaiju signing out.